pretty. Clear that up. I'm actually feeling pretty good today. Just, uh, you know, gotta work. Can't just be all fun today. Look at that. I didn't even get off the bike. I'm a pro at this. All right, let's prune this guy here. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is interesting to you guys. I mean, I'm sure someone enjoys the sound of my voice, ladies. Um, but, uh, ah, dang it. See, I should probably cut that one down too, but I feel bad. I don't like cutting trees down because we don't have enough of them. Not a tree hugger, don't get me wrong. Um, Sorry if I find any tree huggers. Um, but if I can get away with not destroying a tree, it makes me happy. So we'll just prune this guy. Maybe do a better job than what I just did. He could benefit from it too, maybe. Not too shabby. Again, I'm just worried about eyes, right? Helmets, they can take a pretty good hit. But you get a branch in the eye without goggles. No bueno. High school Spanish paying off. Okay. <laughs> That's a little better. Dang it. I should mention, um, so I had a I have a Hero 5, right? The one that's not really good. And uh I've been filming at 2.7K at 30 FPS because 24 FPS looked kind of like garbage for a while. I, I tried it for a number of videos, but I, I can't get a good screenshot and it just looks blurry. Um, 60 FPS is a little too fast, I feel like. But this 9 only does 2.7K lowest is 60 FPS, which is what you guys are seeing now. I have uh, Hyper Smooth, whatever it's called, on, but not the Boost the boost was making everything too laggy and i think this requires a little bit of you know response so we'll see how that goes i'm worried the files are going to be huge my computer is like five years old so <laughs> got some more ram for it and we'll see if i can actually edit these videos all right so some writing look at that amazing progress this is one of those areas that is okay where would you go let me slowly pan here where 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 would you go not very clear is it <laughs> this is actually one of the main reasons i wanted to do this today right here it's because when we were in a group right here two weeks ago i think it was um everyone went that way right and that's not that's not correct <laughs> the answer wait for it wait for it right here so this is where it continues now once you're here you can see it right <laughs> how would you know where to go so, so we're gonna make a good job here of really arrowing this you see all the staples here there were arrows <laughs> clearly either someone doesn't like this particular location for an arrow or mother nature is just being herself we're gonna double it up. Two is one and one is none, right? Is that how, how it goes? All righty. That's much clearer, isn't it? And maybe we'll throw one here just to draw an eye. Probably overkill, but oh no, there used to be one here. Look at that. Maybe we'll pick a better spot. How about right there? I'm triple stapling here, hoping that holds. But yeah, so this is much needed. We're gonna ride this a little more. You know what, though? Actually, now that I think about it, we need to have a warning. Because people still may go that right. Where's a good tree here? I guess it has to be this one. Maybe we do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. 
because I want to make sure as they're coming down they don't just because a lot of these guys are doing this at like a speeds you know now they're good at looking at arrows but nonetheless let's try not to make them guess there we go okay I feel good about that So yeah, you guys let me know what you think of this video quality. I'm going to do my best to maintain it via the rendering and all that. Hopefully it'll come out decent. reiterate they're on a trail that's the other thing um sometimes people will get lost or you know be going through the woods or whatever and i think it helps to have these arrows even if it's kind of obvious here because you might see it from the road over there or something you know what i mean so it's a good indicator of where you should have been if they miss what i did over there that that's on them because even I would see those arrows. And we all know my sense of direction is not too good. Oh, there's one right here. See, like... This is the exact same arrow I have on me, I think, unless I was yellow. No, I think that was orange. But you can see what the weather did to it. Who knows how old it is? This is a pretty old trail. Nonetheless, what we're going to do is do that. By the way, I'm not littering. This is allowed. Paper degrades. And I don't have garbage pocket, unfortunately. So, we'll just do that. I hope I brought enough arrows at this rate. Yeah, see like that calls for an arrow up there too. Getting pretty good at getting off the bike. And I don't just mean over the handlebars. Ah. Uh, yeah, that video if you guys haven't seen um the last time we did the bowl loop actually towards the end i had a pretty fun hit went over the bars hit my boy parts and actually bent and you can see this aluminum clamp twisted the forks a little bit too in the triple clamps but bent this clamp so my bars were crooked surprisingly it bends back pretty easily and i like it one thing i want to point out is people don't think about failure points or crumple zones or whatever you want to call them. Cars have them, right? So when you hit a tree, what do you want to break? I don't want my triple clamps to break. Now, I don't think they would, but nonetheless, don't want them. So this being a weak point is good because this all twists and it preserves that, right? This right here kind of holds everything together. But even so, I don't run threaded bar ends. I run just regular inserts because when I hit hard enough, they do twist and pop out and preserve my handlebars a little bit, I think. I also try to run this a little looser. You can see there is a bit of a gap. This one is a little too tight, I think. So there's some movement to this, actually. See? Part of it, people say, you want it to be loose. Slavin says put a washer in here, like a plastic washer, so that you have these actually bend. Eh, I don't know if I can feel that. But uh, I do like that when I hit something hard, most of this stays straight except for one little part. It's, you know, 75 bucks if I break it. But I was able to bend it back, so it works for me. Okay, this is the other one. If I want to do something about this, we'll see. All right, I'll bring you guys back. Looking at two, when the arrow 
to go. I think right here to indicate that we're going that way. Yeah, see there used to be one here. I feel like I got a good eye for this now. <laughs> this is an outboard here. We don't want people going straight. Which looks like maybe someone did at one point. See, that's what I'm saying. This might be an old trail right here. It does look like there was a path. Or maybe even here. But right now it's going that way. So we'll go ahead and make that more obvious. I look competent, didn't I? <laughs> Good point, because you don't want to go that way. Hey, look at this. I mean, it's gone. Probably several years old. more progress. What about this guy? Oh, I made it worse. <laughs> Dang it. This is very un, uh, unforgiving work. I'm still having fun. Like I said, me in the woods. So I don't know if you guys uh, subscribe to and watch uh, the Baitmaster 420, who's my online BFF. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously though, um, He's got a KTM. He's over in Idaho, right? Is it Idaho? Yeah, it's Idaho. Um, so his riding train is completely different. He used to be in Utah. Anyway, if you haven't checked out his content, he also got a brand new GoPro. It looks spiffy as hell. He recently took his KTM to some uh, sandy single track and double track. The views, man, beautiful. So shout out to him. Check him out. He's uh, definitely got some good content. And knows this stuff not just motorcycles also cars so if you have questions about any of that like buying used and so forth he's got a lot of good tips okay all right let me clean this up i'll come back to you guys See, this is just my OCD here. Oh, well, this could be ice. But you know what, though? See, I almost didn't notice that. These things are nasty. Dried, thorny bushes. See the little thorns? You don't notice them at first, but they get ow. See, <laughs> they get you. I hate these things. I think it's when those nasty vines die, this happens. Even after death, they're pain in the, in the behind. Okay. Trees. Nature's kickstand. Don't steal that. Three was last time. This is a. Uh, I think I made a comment about that in the in the last video, or in the last bullet video. Um, these roots here. I mean, they're not a problem right now. I went over them like they're not even there. 
but after it rains, like this place doesn't get super muddy, but the roots do get slick. See, look at this, look at this nasty little thing. Look at these thorns. Most uh, MX pants aren't thick enough to prevent you from feeling that. So, everyone riding this trail, you're welcome. interesting thing just happened I think my GoPro overheated it wouldn't turn on it was really warm to the touch um, it might be that um, wind sock that I had on it see um, so I took it off I'm wondering what that does to the audio and maybe it'll cool off better because um, that would not be good because this isn't even as hot as it gets here <laughs> I've been out here like hour and a half maybe, maybe two. I still haven't made it halfway through this thing, I don't think. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> okay. I know, I don't need to clean up stuff like this. This is off-road after all. But uh, I don't know. I'm already out here. I'm already doing this. So it's not half ass it. Plus, overall, this is not a hard trail. So it might be novice riders, it might be kids, and something like this could definitely trip them up. Okay, that's a little better. So I came on this obstacle here. Um, this is too heavy for me to move. I could chop it up um, because in the wet this thing is actually kind of a pain in the butt um, if you come at it like this not a good time you gotta go wide and try to hop it um, so what people have been doing I think and it makes sense is you can come also up here in the corner and that kind of get your tire nicely wedged between the two so you don't slip as much um, I think I'm gonna keep it Um, I don't feel I'm going to have a good time chopping through that with my machete. I didn't have, I don't have a saw. So, I gotta make decisions. So we got a lot of work to do on the rest of this trail. So let's see if we can get over this without embarrassing ourselves. Alright, alright. See, if, I guess when it's dry, it's not a big deal, like I said. But, and then wet this one. I think I think Kyle went down here, or maybe it was someone else. Maybe Chad. I can't remember. I think someone went down here. Because dialogue is up. Not a nice guy. That's an advanced class right there. See, in theory, that's totally doable. Um, I don't know where that trail. I think he comes back up. I got some logs like that in my house now. My buddy Mike dropped them off, and. Uh, the idea is to practice that kind of hop, but I'll be honest, right now, I don't have the skills to, to hop that without, hopefully, or oh, hopefully, <laughs> without probably breaking something. And again, with technique, there's plenty of room. You just gotta blip up and then blip again, probably. Easier said than done. I might be a lifelong sea rider. it's not as hot as it was I'm in the shade here so not feeling too terrible that beginning was kind of brutal because I was out in the sun chopping stuff down um, sure why not I'm using my starter motor should get up the bike but let's see if we can push it Pick up, really big skateboard. 
Okay. But yeah, um, I'm hoping all this is gonna come out right. Probably gonna trim it down a lot. So I'm talking and talking and talking. I need a Wilson in my in my position. Are you my Wilson? No. I think that was a um, castaway reference. Could have been a house reference, I suppose. Uh, speaking of, you know, I don't get um, necessarily political on this channel, obviously, because it's entertainment, but man, re-watching some TV shows from the 90s and early 2000s, I'm picking up on stuff I did not pick up on before. There's some serious underlying subliminal messaging going on. I don't mean like voodoo stuff, I mean like, you know, kind of uh, reinforcing the ideals of those who wrote the show onto the audience. And uh, kind of bothers me. Some of the shows that I thought were good kind of ruined now because I can't stand for it, you know? And, uh, Especially when it comes to like subject of religion and God and stuff like that. It's kind of rough watching that stuff. I don't know. Especially, well, these days the shows are even worse. <laughs> but yeah, I was re-watching House. And, uh, you know, clearly there is a point to him being an atheist and all that other stuff. Um, there's a storyline associated with it and... You can tell there's some search for truth and but uh man there's a lot of anti-religion in that show and again when i was like what i trying to remember early 20s i didn't pick up on it and that's how that's how they do it i don't even know if i'm going to leave this in the video i don't want to alienate a whole bunch of people but at the same time i'd rather those who aren't offended watch my videos than those who are, if I'm being honest. And uh, I don't know, I feel like those subjects shouldn't be imposed on people through shows like that. Um, especially when it's trying to destroy what is essentially the foundation of this country. So, I don't know. Just babbling now. Probably heat stroke. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys rewatch some of that stuff, there's a lot of agenda, anti-religion, anti-gun, and uh, it's unfortunate. I see that one there worries me. I think we're gonna have to do something about that. See, I worry about this right here. Um, if you're standing up, this could catch the lid of your helmet. You see what I'm saying? And then yank your head back. And that would not be a good time. So, we do our best to cut this guy down. There we go. I've had that happen before. And uh, it kind of sucked. You know, the guy I used to ride with Andy, he had a... Uh, a vine twist around his neck. Not decapitate him, but man, he left a mark, let me tell you. So, better safe than sorry in these cases. So this battery's doing pretty good so far. I'm still in the first battery. And I was complaining about the uh, overheating issue. I still have like 35% left. So we'll see, supposedly an hour of footage. Now if I've been talking for an hour, more garbage. Okay, I'll be back. All right. Making some progress. Now here for another half hour, I think, until I'm recording. It's pretty warm. Trying to be conscious of our dehydration level. So I'm drinking a bunch. But, man, there's a lot of growth here. I don't think I'm gonna finish today. This might be a two trip situation. There's a good part, part where I can stop coming up. These pruners suck. And uh, yeah, because it's pretty warm, I'm starving. I have water, but 
I'm still alone, so that's not ideal. A lot of work. The next time you see a dude who maintains your trails, tell him thank you for spending that much of his free time ensuring that you have a place to ride. I'm not saying me, since I don't do this enough. Um, but, in general. Let's see if I can cut through this. Oh, sweet! Well, that's something. <laughs> okay. Um, fist cars. Supposed to be a decent brand, although I'm assuming it's made in China. What a load of garbage. Okay. Okay, so this is a confusing part, but it looks like someone did a good job. Alright, so this is a good stopping point, not the one I was thinking about, but it looks like I'm actually not quite as far as I thought I was. I'm about a third of the way in. So at this rate, I'll pass out. <laughs> So I think what we'll do is, we'll take this back to Wisdom Road, this goes to the bowl, and this would be a good test to see how this mic does in the wind. Now I'm running ProTune, like I said, I turned off wind noise reduction, which means there will be wind noise, but I'm curious how bad it is compared to the other GoPro, see if they did anything different here. So we're gonna move our way down some double track now. And uh, yeah, this is a good stopping point. And then next time I'm out here, I can jump out of here and continue. last videos uh debate master mentioned that an outro is the most important part of a video and i never do outros so okay i can't twist that so here's an outro bye <laughs>